Hi, I'm Tony from FreshCatMushrooms.com and today I just wanted to make a quick video to show you the process for inoculating grain spawn to make first generation grain spawn. Basically the process just involves cutting off a few wedges from a mushroom culture on a petri dish and putting them into a jar of sterilized grain. Over time the mushroom culture will work its way through the grain, eventually making some usable grain spawn. Now this is first generation grain spawn because it's the first step from a culture dish to spawn. You could then use that to make either more spawn or to spawn it directly to a bulk substrate. Now we're doing this in front of a laminar flow hood just trying to stay as clean as possible but as usual you don't absolutely need a laminar flow hood just try and do it in the most sterile way possible. So we're going to hop into the lab and inoculate some grain jars. This is the jar of sterilized grain that we made by uh, preparing the grain, hydrating it, and then sterilizing it at 15 psi for 90 minutes. And I got it in this jar here with uh, a filter lid, so pretty much it's just a hole that's drilled into the top of the lid with some poly stuffing in it. So now this is 100% sterilized grain, which is ready to be inoculated with the mushroom culture. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place that in front of my hood. I've got my Arishi mushroom culture set up here as well. The process basically involves taking your scalpel, flame sterilizing it, then you're going to cut out a couple wedges of reishi or whatever culture you happen to have and place it inside the jar. The reason we put a couple wedges in instead of just one is so that when it's in the jar it'll have multiple inoculation points and it'll allow it to uh, colonize the jar a lot faster and again reduces your chances of contamination. So now you can go ahead and remove the lid on your jar Keep the actual lid there, but just remove the ring so you can quickly open your lid. Then go ahead and get your scalpel red hot. Once your scalpel is red hot, go ahead and take a wedge out of your culture, first cooling it in the side of the dish. Take about a centimeter sized wedge. Then open your jar place it inside. And if you can, kind of throw the mycelium in there without touching the sides of the jar. Then all you got to do is seal it back up. And that's pretty much it. Now what you can do here too is shake it around and try and get those pieces of mycelium more to the center of the jar and off the sides. Now if you're doing multiple species at the same time, it's super important to go ahead and label it with the species and the date. Otherwise it's super easy to forget what kind of mushrooms you actually put in there. Let's do a couple more here. Instead of cutting three individual pieces like this and putting them one by one into your jar, you could also just go ahead and cut kind of like a grid in your plate. And then take a number of pieces at once. What this does is saves you from having to open your lid too many times. The fewer times you have to open your lid, the less chance you have of contamination. Now this you could actually either wrap back up and put in the fridge, or you can continue to take sections out and make more grain spawn. Or if you wanted to, you could transfer this to another plate and make a whole bunch of new plates. 
So that's really all there is to it to making uh, first generation grain spawn. You're pretty much just tucking in pieces of mycelium into the jar in a sterile environment. Now all we have to do is put these on a shelf or put them somewhere away so that the mycelium can start to work its way through the grain spawn and fully colonize it. At that time, you can either use this grain spawn to make more grain spawn or you can spawn it directly to a bulk substrate such as supplemented sawdust fruiting blocks or straw in order to eventually grow mushrooms. Now while you're waiting for it to colonize the jar, you might want to go ahead and shake it after about a week or so. Shaking it and breaking up all the grains before it's fully colonized will actually really increase the speed of colonization. This is because when you break it all up, it increases the number of inoculation points and it can fully colonize the grain a lot quicker. So we're going to put these on a shelf for the next week or so and watch as the mycelium starts to work its way through the grain and in no time we should have some usable grain spawn that we can use to add to a bulk substrate to start growing mushrooms or that we can propagate to make even more grain spawn. So stay tuned, that's all going to be in the next video. I'm Tony from FreshCapMushrooms.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.